Right, this is the first of um, two cajons um, I've got. I've called them SP2s because I've done an SP1. Um, and this one, as you, again, as you can see, everything's been dovetail jointed. Uh, the front head uses torque screws. Um, my little logo down the bottom there. And the, that there's part of the adjustable snare mechanism, which we'll see in a moment. The rear head is glued and screwed with torque screws all evenly spaced um, just just because I like it that way again we can see uh, the dovetailing across the top there um, and two sound holes if you want to mic it you can actually mic uh, high and low top end base end separately and a little knob here that allows you to adjust the snare um, it's also being acoustically treated on the inside um, it's a 20 strain snare just off the bottom of a a snare drum that's been cut in half. Um, other things worth noting is that everything you see here is uh, locally sourced from locally companies, uh, I think except the snare, um, which I'm quite proud of. This one's actually been finished um, in a varnish, and uh, the other one, which you'll see in a moment, actually isn't, it's finished in um, a beeswax polish. Sorry. Okay, so this is the second unit, um, all being dovetailed as you can see across there. Um, it's got the one side of the snare mechanism there. Um, on the other side of the unit, you've got the knob to adjust it on and off. The two sound holes again, again all being dovetailed. Um, the difference with this one is that the snare's actually been mounted slightly higher up the body. Um, and also, it doesn't quite have as much dampening as the other unit. And the finish is different, and it's amazing how much difference the finish actually makes to the sound. Uh, when I was lacquering these units uh, you actually got a much snappier um, sound out of the cajon which was um, unusual. Anyway, um, I shall give you a blast on this one and let you hear what it sounds like. Okay, so here's uh, the second cajon um, without the snare on. Okay. And it sounds like this. Okay, and I can turn the snare on. Okay, and then I tighten it up using an Allen key on this side. It locks it into place, it means it's not going anywhere. Again, if we just loosen that off with the Allen key, take the snare off. There's actually some felt dampening in the inside and um, actually rests against to stop it uh, resonating. Because like the one you've already seen, it has the two heads. If you want, you can even play the side. And again, back to the front. And finally, back with the snare. So I'll just loosen off the valve at the front, the snare on, quick tighten up, 